Hey guys, Space Venus here. Today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Cubic Castle Summer and, and what's going on because we've had uh, all sorts going on in the last couple of days. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the new Summer Pack. Now, prior to previous packs, they've gone for a one item a day sort of pack, although it doesn't seem to be quite a day. Uh, so it started at lot zero and then it was lot one and then lot two. So we've had three items from the pack so far. And the first one they gave us was this blue backpack, which, as you can see, is, is pretty cool. Just like your average out-and-about backpack, but I quite like it. We didn't have any bags before, so uh, it's certainly cool to see one. Uh, the second item they gave us was this cooler, uh, which is just a deco. It's not a chest or anything like that, but it's uh, it's pretty cute. Uh, I, I really like it. I'm sure I can find lots of places to put that. Um, and then the newest one is a slightly more levery backpack, a little bit more upper class for the gentlemen among us, uh, a leather satchel. So very nice indeed. Those are the sort of three new items that we've been given, uh, presumably. I'm not sure how many they're going to be, but I, I'm guessing a few more. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure how people feel about the new single item packs. I think a lot of people prefer the old packs, but I think it's pretty good because you know what you're getting, providing you wait long enough for some other people to open the packs. Uh, and you can pick and choose the items you want, which I think is really cool. Now, the other thing that's been going on is the summer umbrellas, the uh, the, the rainbow beach ones. Now, these were, these were an item that was supposed to be added last year, but uh, they were left out of the packs. Um, and this year they come around, but they will not be available in any packs. They are only going to be available for events. Um, so there's not going to be a lot of them. So they're going to be a bit rarer. A lot of people are speculating that maybe that's going to lead to them being very expensive. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be too bad because they're a decoration. They're not a wearable. And once people realize that they're not a wearable, I think a lot of the interest will die in them because they are just slightly different colored beach umbrellas at the end of the day. Uh, they're not that big a deal. But they're, they're very pretty and it'd be cool to have one. Now the very first event for that is running at the moment. And as you can see it's right at the top here. Castles in the Sky. You can find that on the lobby bumper. And it's a, it's a parkour basically. Um, a few people in here doing it now. But it's a parkour. You get to the end and then 50. That's a lot. 50 people will have their chance to win Rainbow Umbrellas. Which is pretty cool. There'll be a few more of those sort of events going on. Uh, over summer I'm going to do a couple more so don't think that's the only 50 umbrellas they're going to add uh, there will be more uh, as well as I'll be giving out a few in mini games uh, races visiting some old events to redo parkours stuff like that um, which will be pretty cool so yeah the number will increase there'll be a fair few of them uh, nothing you know not thousands of them but enough I think that the people that want them will be able to get their hands on them and they won't be too expensive uh, the uh, mini game event will start roughly, I'm going to say, towards the end of the first week. Um, so just as the Castle in the Sky event comes to an end. Now the reason that I chose to do that is simply because the first couple of people to win them in mini games are going to go and sell them for an extortionate price. So I wanted like there to be like 50 of them in the game already when I start giving them out because that's going to stop people from ch trying to charge crazy, crazy prices for them only for them to come dropping down in price a few days later. So that's my thought process there. So be sure to come over to Space Fitness's mini games. maybe check out some of the games. Um, head over to my racetracks, you can find all of those via uh, my racing lobby, which is here. Um, just so you can get some practice in, maybe get ready to get, you know, good, like really good at racing for it. And the other thing that I just wanted to show you is my ball games lobby. Um, obviously, people of you that or aware of my stuff will have seen these things but the ball games lobby has a lot of fun beachy summer activities for you there's volleyball and things like that so you can come down if you fancy it have a few games i'll probably host a few games here and there for uh for qbs to come and hang out on my beach and play some of my games but yeah there's a uh, one last thing that i wanted to talk about in terms of uh summer and that is my current YouTube giveaway, which will be starting as this video is posted. So be sure to head over here to have a look at it. I'll do a few hollers, get people involved. And I'm going to be giving away five of the rainbow beach umbrellas 
on my YouTube channel. It's one of the many ways that we're going to be pushing out the umbrellas. So here's what you got to do. To enter the giveaway, you want to head over to the channel Space Fetus on YouTube. Nice and easy. Just search up space underscore fetus. Watch the new summer video, which if you're watching this now, then you're watching it. So good job on that. And make sure to subscribe because I really appreciate the support. I really like to see what you guys have to say. It's really appreciated. So just hit that subscribe button for me. Comment in the comment section your in-game username. It's very important. It's how we're going to determine the winners. So I need you to comment your in-game name or I can't find you. Five people will win the umbrellas, as we've already said. And the winners will be announced on the 1st of July, which is a few weeks from now. There'll be quite a few umbrellas in the game by that point, I imagine. But uh, there's a chance for you to win five more of them. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about summer so far. Be sure to check out for my hollers. They'll be coming uh, for the YouTube stuff and for the Rainbow Umbrellas as well. Be a variety of things. There'll be parkours. There'll be races. There'll be puzzles. Uh, basically enough stuff to give everyone a fair chance. You know, I don't want to just award people that are really good at certain things and not others. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. Definitely try and enter the... Um, Castle in the Sky event if you haven't already because 50 people will be getting umbrellas from that so that's quite a few uh, and there'll be some more summer events down the line uh, give out even more umbrellas and yeah let me know what your favourite item so far that for the summer has been let me know what your favourite item from last summer was and the ones you'd like to see again uh, and maybe some speculation as to what you think's coming I know some people have unearthed some uh, game files and stuff so that's pretty interesting so let me know what you think about those um, I appreciate your support as always guys and I'll see you soon. Thanks guys.